next question uh, rotating system uh, shown in the figure differs only in that the two spherical movable masses are positioned either far from the axis which is over on the left so they are far from the axis and this is of course the axis passing through the center uh, it's like from out of the page to into the page and then or otherwise they are positioned nearer to the axis or near to the center if the hanging blocks are released simultaneously then which blocks lands on the grounds on the ground first okay so since the mass of the hanging block is same this will be the weight uh, this will be the weight over here as well and this is the required tension and since the arrangement is same so the tension is also going to be the very same so let's find out the torque now the uh, torque will only be because of this tension and let's say this radius is r which is the perpendicular distance so the torque will be given by r cross f right what is r that is the radius r and cross f so that's f and sine of theta and since they are at 90 degree so sine 90 is one so uh, the torque is just r cross r and f which is same for both and we also know that the torque is given by i alpha uh, so the value of uh, in the case of left t left which is same as t left which will be equal to i left uh, alpha left and t right will be equal to i right alpha right now the torque is same which is rf over i1 that is the value of alpha 1 alpha 1 and here the torque is which is rf once again and this is ir which is alpha r over here so this is the left one now let's talk about the moment of inertia now we know that the moment of inertia is dependent on is proportional to m r square right uh, for the disk the moment of inertia is going to be same but for the uh, two masses which are kept away let's say they are uh, whatever their masses they they should be identical so in this case this distance is less right and that's why uh, the radius is less and hence the moment of inertia of the left one which has a far away distance is going to be greater than the moment of inertia for the right one because the distance mr square r is going to be a bit less and uh, since it is less so uh, since this value i l is in denominator so the denominator is higher so overall ratio is going to be smaller and this results in the angular acceleration of the left one being smaller than the angular acceleration of right one and if we uh, find out the time, so I think we can use the uh, second equation of motion for the angular uh, angular motion. So the angular displacement theta, whatever that is, is going to be same for both. Uh, in fact, let me take a different color over here. So angular displacement theta is equal to omega naught t plus half alpha t square. So theta is same for both. They are released from rest. So this is zero, and this is half alpha t square. So if we rearrange then 2 theta over alpha is going to be t square which means that t is going to be root of 2 theta over alpha right uh, now since we are talking about alpha and we can clearly see that the time is inversely proportional to the root of alpha which means that more is the value of alpha more is the value of alpha uh, less will be the time taken and hence the time taken for the left one is going to be uh, greater because this alpha is less hence the time is greater than the time taken for the right one all right so in this case the time which is taken for the left one is going to be greater than the time taken for the right one and hence which one will reach the ground first right system will reach first because the time taken by it is less thank you